If you think the only way to lose weight is to count your calories and do countless, countless hours of HIIT cardio, you're wrong and I'm going to tell you why. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Savan. I'm 21 years old. I live in Florida. I do Pilates, strength training, cardio, all of the above. I'm here to show you all the habits I did to lose almost 40 pounds without counting my calories. Now buckle in and let's get started. Number one is making sure that you're not trying to give yourself too many habits to change in such a short period of time. So what does that mean basically? I don't want you to take all of these tips that I'm giving you and believe that you have to be perfect at it in the span of a week. Every single tip that I give you, I highly recommend you take two of the tips, get really good at making those habits within a month or two, and then go on to the next tip and add those into your habits as well. And later on, you're gonna notice you're doing this just naturally and habitually, and you never gain the weight back. You actually lose weight naturally from this. Number two is the most important part of this that you need to master, and it takes the longest to master as well. And that is practicing portion control. When I mean portion control, I do not mean look at what's on your plate and you have to give yourself a rule to not finish the plate and only have this amount of it. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying to stop when you are satisfied. Stop before you get full. When you are full, you already feel a little bit uncomfortable, correct? I want you to not ever feel uncomfortable whatsoever. I want you to feel light and feel like you can walk across the street and not be super tired and sluggish because of how healthy you feel, because of how much you ate. You can always save the food for later. You're not wasting food. And if you can't save the food, I'm sorry, but just eating more of it is not gonna get you to your goals. And in a sense, you're still wasting food because you're eating more than your body needs. Now the biggest help, which is number three in staying satisfied, is eating more protein. We've heard it a million times, eating more protein is very, very important. And this is because it's going to keep you fuller for longer. And when you are building muscle and losing fat, Holding protein in your body is going to make you already burn a little bit more calories in a day. It's not that much, but it's a little bit better than nothing, right? If you are not eating enough protein, you are not going to get that toned look. Toned is basically when you lose enough fat on your body that your muscle is revealed. But the more muscle you have, the less skinny fat you're gonna look. Next part that's gonna go into what you should be eating is eating more veggies and fruits. So making sure that your plate is the majority is protein and veggies or fruit. If you do that, you are going to be fuller for longer and also giving your body the nutrients it needs while staying in a deficit without counting your calories. Number five is getting 10K steps in a day. You will not believe how many more calories you burn in a day by walking 10K steps, yet your appetite doesn't increase, okay? The whole point of number five is to explain to you that diet is more important than what you work out or how hard you work out. And the more you work out or the stronger the workout is, the more likely it is for your appetite to increase. Does this happen to everyone? No, but if you start to realize you're never satisfied with how much you're eating, maybe think about it. Are you overstressing your body in any way? And that comes down to number six. Are you getting enough sleep? If you are having caffeine really late at night and you are going to do your workout then, that can really mess up your sleep schedule. And something that your body will do to compensate for the energy that it's lacking from sleep is trying to eat more for more nutrients. Now that's gonna keep you in what? not in a calorie deficit. So really try to prioritize sleep, maybe wind down a little bit earlier than you're used to, and it's gonna help a lot in regulating your appetite. Number seven is reducing your alcohol intake or reducing how much of the high sugary alcohol or drinks you have. Trying to minimize that, whether it's a diet soda instead of a normal Coke, which they can do in a lot of bars, as for a diet soda with rum or with tequila or vodka, can do a worlds of a difference. Usually the, the drinks that are on the specials menu that have a million things will have a lot more sugar intake in them, which will cause you to one, have a stronger hangover, which can also throw you off balance, and two, just have more calories in general and give you a little crash. Number eight is giving into your hunger cues. Girls, I promise you it is okay to not be that active and to be extremely hungry right before your period. It happens to every single girl. You are not different than any other girl than myself. 
you are bound to feel like this because your body is practically working out when it is losing blood it is losing the amount of calories it takes to work out that day when it's on its period and not just that but it's doing a lot more for your body so it is normal for your body to want more nutrients it does it on purpose and the more you restrict it from that the worse the future will be for you when it comes down to giving your body what it needs and reaching that calorie deficit or that goal weight number nine goes a little bit into intuitive of eating and stopping when you're satisfied if you've never counted calories you might not think this but if you've counted calories in the past and you need help to stop counting calories number nine is going to be your best friend here and this took me a lot of time to learn but the faster you can learn it the faster you will see results and that is basically not worrying about how much you ate in a day whether it's nearing your period or not even close to your period stop worrying about how little you ate that day or how much you ate that day we are not robots and we don't function on a hundred percent battery like phones do okay our bodies require different energy every single day whether that's from laying in bed being super hungry or not hungry at all okay we are bound to be hungrier some days and less hungry other days i'm gonna put this into perspective to you so let's say that you maintain on 2000 calories and for you to lose a pound a week you need to eat 1500 calories every day so let's say that on monday tuesday and wednesday you were not that hungry you ate a thousand calories instead of a thousand and five hundred and you were worried that you were under eating those days so you ate a thousand and five hundred calories then comes thursday friday saturday and sunday and your appetite has increased a little bit let's say thursday and friday you had a thousand seven hundred calories so you're still on a deficit you know and then saturday and sunday you had two thousand calories right now that you think about it if you add in all those calories in a week you would have not lost a pound that week rather than if you instead monday tuesday and wednesday just decided i'm not that hungry and that you only ate around a thousand calories you stayed like that and then the rest of the week you kept it like that you would have lost around a pound that week so i'm not telling you to force yourself to eat a thousand calories for some days of the week so that you can eat more the next of the week it doesn't work like that if you listen to your body some days it's going to not be that hungry at all and just let that happen other days it's going to be hungrier and just let let that happen when you just let your body do what it wants physically not mentally when your stomach is hungry not when your brain is like oh crumble oh wings up if you let your stomach dictate when you're going to eat your body will balance itself out to its healthiest form lastly is going on the last intuitive eating part which is eating what you want in moderation let's be real when we're you know trying to eat healthier we're gonna crave wings up we're gonna crave mcdonald's things like that and that's totally okay you can get that but i definitely think in moderation still you need to understand when your body is starting to react negatively towards it because intuitive eating doesn't just mean going to get whatever your brain wants it means what does your body want does your body genuinely want that mcdonald's if you're like yes 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 let's go get it go get it enjoy it and then just go back to your normal ways because if you go through a rampage of eating a bunch of food you feel horrible right and that's still going to happen even after this video and after having all these tips but it'll happen less and less and less and those little less and less and less will add up eventually and you will be able to go on vacation and not gain weight maybe even lose weight give it a month or two because the beginning is going to be rigid you're going to overeat sometimes you're going to just be on a rampage sometimes because you're not accustomed to this new routine but once you're in routine and things start getting better, you'll notice it. You'll notice, wow, I'm really getting better at this. Oh my gosh, I'm losing weight and that's it. It'll be your normal day-to-day -day life and you'll literally live like that for the rest of your life because it's just your normal habits that you're doing. I want you to try and train yourself if you want to lose weight, train yourself to stop before you get full before you get uncomfortable and just because you can stop yourself doesn't mean you should just eat mcdonald's every day try to make it whole healthy foods because your body will thank you and that is what intuitive eating is listening to your body giving it what it wants and making it thrive at its best from those foods anyways i hope you like this video let me know any other inputs on things that you guys do so that this community can you know learn from it but i hope these tips helped you and i wish you the best on your intuitive eating journey.